How about mechanical work? Don't we have to eat also for all the mechanical work that we do? We work so hard, and I'm sure there must be a lot of energy going into that work. Well, I have a surprise for you. It's very disappointing. The kind of work that you and I do in one day is so embarrassingly little in terms of mechanical work that you can completely neglect it. Suppose we go up three floors. We walk up three floors, which is about 10 meters high. And let's say we do that three times per day. And let's give you a mass of about 70 kilograms. It's about my mass. How, how much work do I do when I do that? Three times, oh, let me do it five times per day. Boy, I really go out of my way. Five times per day, I go three floors up. Well, the amount of work that I do is MGH. MGH. The 10 meters have to be multiplied by five because I do it five times. And so I get 35,000 joules of work that I do. 35 thousand joules. Compare that with the 10 to the 7 joules per day that your body generates in terms of heat. You think you have to eat a little bit more for these lousy 35,000 joules? Forget it. It's nothing. In fact, your average power, if you did, if you walked up these stairs and you spread it out over a day and say you, it took you 10 hours you go once up in the morning and then sometime in the afternoon and you go up in the evening and maybe twice in the evening. It takes you 10 hours to go five times up these three floors. Then the average power that you have done, that you have generated, is 35,000 joules divided by 36,000 seconds. <laughs> that is embarrassingly little. That's about one watt. Compare that with your body, which generates 100 joules per second every second, 100 watts. So it is completely negligible. However, if you climb a mountain, 5,000 feet, and you do that, then the work you have to do is a million joules. Now a million is no longer negligible compared to the 10 to the 7. And so now you feel hungry, and now you really need more food. And if you do that in two hours, the power that you have generated is substantial. You would have generated an average power of 160 watts more than the body heat during those two hours, of course. And so now the body says, I want to eat more. I want to be compensated for the work. If I climb this mountain, if I climb 5,000 feet, and I have to do an extra work, which is 10 to the 6 joules, you got to eat more. Now, you would think that you have to eat only 10% more than you normally eat, because you say 10 to the 6 is only 10% of 10 to the 7. But that's not true. You have to eat a lot more, because the conversion from food to mechanical work is very poor, something like 20%. So you may have to eat 40 or 50% more than you normally do in one day.